Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, four Italian wines in front of me, uh, four different regions, actually slightly more than four different regions, but uh, we'll get onto that later. I'll just set into them for the moment. First one we have got is from Sicily, uh, and it's the Porato Catarato Pinot Grigio. So Porato is the name of the brand. Um, Catarato and Pinot Grigio are the grapes. Uh, from organic grapes, but not only organic grapes, 100% recycled paper, 85% recycled glass, 100% recycled cardboard, he said burping, and 100% pure vegetable ink. I'm not going to lick it to find out, I'm just going to try it. Catarato is one of those grapes that um, I think used to be mostly used for making uh, fortified wines, and Marsala in particular, um, and uh, by itself um, needs a little bit of uh, a TLC, but when you get when you do it well, you get something like this. It smells like it's going to be uh, quite lively, peachy, fresh. Um, quite, it smells really quite attractive. Not complex, but um, honest, juicy, and um, gluggable. And very nice it is too. Uh, clean, fresh, peachy, um, and a bit of citrus bite to keep it all fresh. Um, as I said, as I was expecting, not hugely complex, but um, satisfying, juicy drink and uh, a nice beginning. I might have another slug before I move on. Yeah, it's got this slight smoky, um, almost walnut skin character. Um, uh, just to perk up the finish. Nice wine. Next one, uh, this is uh, the Wine Society's own label, so the Society's Verdicchio di Castel di Gesi, and I think it's been made by Montischiavo, yeah, 2011 vintage, let's give it a whirl. Now it's not jumping out of the glass quite the way the first one was, but um, I find that with Verdicchio when it's young, it's, um, it can be, you sort of think, well, STW, spot the wine, uh, but um, in my experience, uh, what happens is it seems to blossom and it seems to uh, put on some mealy fatness, if that makes sense, and um, acquire characters that can almost be a bit shabbly like So there's this mixture of leanness and uh, f rounded flavours, but a lean structure. And um, so I'll, I'll, I'll taste it and see whether that comes through. Yeah, there's like this nutty, creamy character. Maybe not as um, uh, as much fruit in as, as, as you'd get in a Chablis and without that wet wool edge, but uh, this mixture of leanness and richness. Um, it, it feels like it, your, your mouth's left nice and fresh, but it also feels like you have quite a white, weighty wine in there. Uh, as I say, not hugely fruity, but there is enough um, uh, fresh, soft apple flavour, bit of citrus bite again, and um, yeah, I like it. I like both of these. I'm enjoying these. Let's see uh, where, how we get on in the Veneto with uh, Guerreri Rizzardi, Rizzardi's uh, Suave Classico, and it's the um, uh, Costa Giola, which I think is a vineyard. Um, single vineyard bottling of uh, Garganiga and Chardonnay. Let's see how we get on with this. I'd have been very interested to taste these as components, I don't like have the Garganiga and the Chardonnay, because um, um, I miss some of the, that slightly sprightly herbiness that, uh, uh, that I'm getting in really good Suave made without the Chardonnay. The Chardonnay seems to be giving this uh, quite peachy depth, but in the process maybe uh, slightly trampling on some of the more subtle bits of the Garganiga. I may be wrong, let's try it. I like its rounded, rich honesty. Um, doesn't feel like it's, it's, it's too big. Uh, and there is certainly freshness on the finish, but in terms of characteristics that I'd say were there uh, from the vineyard, maybe this peachy Chardonnay just uh, slightly tramples over them. And um, so I'd be very happily, ha happily have a second, maybe even a small third glass of that. But um, uh, as a wine, I just, I just wish they, they I, I wonder what the Chardonnay is bringing to the party. Okay, but could have done better, I think. Final wine. Uh, now this is the one where it's multi-regional. Uh, I'm trying to remember what's in there. I think it's got something like uh, Sicilian Viognier. Uh, I think it's got some um, Vermentino from Maremma. I think it's got Chardonnay from Trentino. And the fourth component. Oh, I've got a, I've got I've got a sheet with it all written on somewhere. But um, I'll see if I can dig it out. It's, it, it's something like maybe it's it's Verdicchio. I uh, know it's Pecorino from the Marche. Uh, that, that's the, the the final component, not the cheese, the grape variety, and it's called um, it's Piccini's Memoro. Uh, there's a red equivalent uh, again. This idea of uh, blending uh, wines across uh, various regions in Italy. I'm not sure whether it's a blend across vintages. It doesn't actually have a a vintage on, but that may be. Uh, it is all from the same vintage, but uh, maybe the appellation laws don't allow it if you if you blend across uh, across regions. Anyway, let's give it a whirl.
Well, the smell reminds me of uh, going mid, uh, early to mid 1990s, uh, Semillon Chardonnay from Australia. It's got this quite big uh, tropical fruit, uh, but uh, fresh and also tinned, like pineapple chunk, uh, cling peach. Uh, character about it. Doesn't smell like it's in incredibly subtle. It's certainly not um, over. Maybe there's a little bit of oak in, in some of the uh, some of the elements, but it's not it's not an oaky wine. But it just feels almost like a bit too rich. And uh, in terms of um, its Italianity, um, as I say, it reminds me of an Austra of an old-fashioned Australian wine. I was talking about the smoky character that I got um, on, on the first wine. I get a little bit of that character here. But in general, it is, it's just like too big, too rich, too oily style. Um, not very subtle for me. Um, probably my least favourite of the four, uh, the four of them. Um, and the least Italian tasting. Um, I think it's toss up for me between the first two, uh, which I prefer. I think, well, I don't know, I, 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 like, the, uh, I like the Suave, but I, I think that there was a better wine to be made there. But, interesting set of four wines. I will love you and leave you. See you soon.